Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, this video is going to be about why I left my salon suite. And um, let's just get right into it. Oh, my name is Sharina. For those of you guys who are new to this channel, if you're not new to this channel, then welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let me give you guys a little background about me. Um, so I've been a loctician for about four years. Um, and majority of that time, except for the last six months, I've been at home um, and I have clientele who's been completely fine coming to my house to get their hair done. And I've really never had a problem with my customers coming to the house with the exception of a few like people. But honestly, if they have a problem, they just don't come back. That's the sort of thing. Um, my clientele, like, Honestly, I pray for the type of people that comes to me. I pray for those people. Like I pray for people that will be kind and understanding that I am a single mother, that I have two kids. That so my clients are pretty like patient with me, as well as I try not to have my kids like you know in the room or anything like that or whatever. But um, so I just wanted to give you guys that background. So when I moved into my salon suite, I honestly had no reason to move into my salon suite. Um, at the time I moved in, I think I was just stressed. I had moved into my new place and then um, I also took on a family member, like had a family member staying with me and my home just didn't feel like home <laughs> to be honest with you. And so I think I was kind of like running from that. And at the time I told myself everything under the book to like convince myself as to why this was going to be such a great decision and a great idea when really and truly I was just you know talking myself into it so if you are deciding to get into a salon suite please 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 like actually sit down write out your pros and your cons write out your reasons why write out like how it's going to actually benefit you and see if it really makes sense for me it didn't a hundred percent make sense it would have been it would have made more sense for me to just get rid of the family member <laughs> rather than to go out and spend all the money i spent okay here's the other reason why I really thought I was missing out on something because other people, like older people, have this idea of what a salon or what a, uh, you know, a, a hair salon is supposed to be like or hair services are supposed to be like. Meanwhile, the world is such in a different place. Like people are so much more understanding and relatable and just willing to connect and work with you even being a stylist and being professional. Like I thought or it may sound to people, to some people that, hey, you're unprofessional because you have your kids while you're working. But in reality, people know how everything isn't cookie cutter, clean, and, and easy for everybody in this world. And honestly, there's so much more people willing to work with you. And so much people that's willing to come to the house. So it's just like, you know, um, now, one of the things that the older, you know, older generation was telling me while I was working from home, basically acting like I didn't have a real business because I worked from home. Um, <laughs> one, of the, one of the things they told me was like, yeah, you need to go out into the, um, into the street because people can't see the business when they're passing your house versus when you're out in the street, people will see that you're a business, right? Or uh, people will see that business and come to you, etc. Then you can do walk-ins, all that stuff, right? Now, truth is, when you're in a salon suite building, like people just know that okay, there's all these different services in this building, but at the same time too, they they don't know that I was specifically in that building. So honestly, if I was gonna leave the house to go start my business outside, it would be more beneficial to for me as a business to go get a storefront where people are actually seeing me from the street and can see, boom, that's lock studio, I can go get my locks done. Whereas I'm just tucked, just like I'm tucked away, that's what, that was the words that was used to me, used um, when somebody was talking to me. You're tucked away in the house, just like I'm tucked away in the house, I was tucked away in a damn building for salon suites. Like, <laughs> okay? So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyway, so the other reason I left my salon suite is the whole reason that I am an entrepreneur, okay? 
entrepreneur. That means I think by myself, okay? That means that I tell myself what to do. That means I like to be in full control over everything, okay? So anyway, and if you read some of these lists that these people have, like some of them is gonna say that we can ask your customers to leave, we can, and all types of stuff, right? So anyway, one of the reasons I personally left my salon suite, um, I like to be in full control. And what I mean is that I am a business that, I'm a single mom, I, I can't say that enough on this channel, but I am a single mom. I have no support, no help, no nothing, okay? It's like I'm out here by myself, completely by myself, okay? So I work, um, my kids are in school from, you know, one time to another time, pretty, you know, late in the afternoon. And for the most part, I try to work within those time frames. Not every single appointment, every single time, I'm going to be able to stick within that time frame. So I, I saw when writing, signing that lease, I saw that it said no children allowed. I seen that. But what are we supposed to do when our customers have children? That they bring to their appointment. Am I supposed to say, you know, you can't bring your children, all this other stuff? Because I don't, my customers are already used to me. They already know how we, you know, operate. And I didn't want to switch rules up. As well as me with my own children, like, I would try to, um, like, so pretty much if my appointments ran past 5 30, I have to pick up my kids. I usually pick up my kids at least by 5.30, and so if my appointment was about to run past 5.30, what I would do is I would put them under the dryer, go get my kids, come back with them, take the customer out the dryer, style their hair real quick, and then we all leave out. So that was basically a problem um, because, of course, the owner knew that those were my kids. And um, even though, like, no lie, that building was dead religiously by seven o'clock it was dead nobody was there most of the time it was only about four or five of us in that building at a time anyway and then pretty much i would really want to say about like five the building was dead but i'm gonna give it some grace and say seven the building was dead so a lot of times i was like the only person in there i was told that i couldn't bring my kids there um and that was a big issue for me i was honestly trying to um so let's go into the next reason i left was because i was losing money i was trying to accommodate this rule of not having your kids there so i cut my clients i cut my times that i worked basically to like um the last appointment i took was like at like four o'clock but honestly i do have a lot of appointments that goes into the afternoon that i take and um because you know when you're an entrepreneur you're a hustler as well Okay, so we can't just pick and choose all the time when we're gonna work because honey, if we don't work, we don't get paid. So, so child, excuse me, I didn't mean to kick y'all, but um, anyway, so I cut my appointments in half thinking, not cut my appointments, appointments in half, but I cut my time for my appointments thinking that I would be okay, thinking that people would be able to adjust to the new times or whatever, and people were not able to adjust to those times. So I noticed that I was missing about two to three thousand dollars of my income. Yeah, it was rough. I was missing two to three thousand dollars of my income plus having to pay twelve hundred dollars for a salon suite. Make it make sense, yeah. The math was not mathing. Okay. The math was not that thing, child. So, child, once I realized that, like, literally, and what made me realize it was that um, it was, like, a Thursday, and I was canceling or rescheduling appointments. Like, I was literally turning that, so pretty much the sitter that I had couldn't work Saturday. They told me last minute. And so I was about to like pretty much, I was basically trying to see if I could cancel or reschedule everybody for Saturday. Then um, the people in the afternoon um, that was like, people were calling me that day, like on Thursday. And I basically turned down, however you have it, I turned down 10 appointments on a Thursday 
for Thursday afternoon, Friday afternoon, and Saturday days. I was like canceling, turning down, and re trying to reschedule my whole Saturday because I was trying to fit this rule of, oh, you can't have your kids here. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, y'all, my customers, my customers are completely fine with me having my kids. I had customers that's like that has that I have been like fully pregnant with and didn't have my newborn and they were like, child, you can't stop working, you just had a newborn. Let me hold the baby <laughs> and twist this here. So um I've had customers that's like that, you know, and I've had customers that's like, you know, we don't come here for this, that, and third. So I've had both. I've had both. And again, the customers who are not kids friendly, who's not kid oriented, family oriented, whatever, um, or just don't want to be bothered with something like that during their appointment, it's cool. They find another stylist. That's that simple. I need customers and I pray for customers and I try to, like, I know who's going to stay, who's not going to stay. For the most part, again, you guys, I'm not telling you to be unprofessional. I, when I tell you, I have a, both times that I've worked from home, I've pretty much been tucked away in an area separate from my house. Like, I have a garage now, and I turned my garage into the, you know, space that I work. It really, again, like I said, I could be tucked away from, away from my kids and the noise and all that stuff. Um, I can really, if they, if they're going too crazy in the living room, I can send them upstairs to their rooms, etc. So, that's how we gets down but a lot of my customers honestly are a hundred and ten percent okay with my kids like they adore them they're like oh my god i've been talking for an hour and 13 minutes please shut up please god no anyway so um so yeah so that's the other reason i left um and then the last reason i left was the drama in there like there was just like I guess maybe because this particular building was like all female there was just this unnecessary drama coming up and um, that I just didn't really want to be a part of and a big 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 thing you guys for being an entrepreneur is being able to control your environment and your space you don't want to be around people that you know is wishing you bad or wishing on your downfall and like just being somebody who's spiritual I needed to come in to get up and go someplace where I can go get up and go there and be happy because for me and um, I will probably explain this later in another video but my business if it, um, my business goes off of my emotions. Like, I need to be in a happy, positive, like, safe and, you know, good space so that I can be, you know, creative, so that I can be focused, so that I can um, manifest all the customers coming my way and manifest the big numbers, you know, that I want in my life. So, um, just being in that place, that particular space that particular space was very distracting for me and it didn't feel good getting up and going there. So you guys, I just had to leave. Um, and I know I wasn't the only one feeling that type of way. So yeah, you guys, I am back home. And um, you know, that family member left. Um, so yeah, you guys, even better. Like my house feels like a good safe space and feels happy again. And then, like, my, you know, garage, I'm getting it together, you guys. So, it's, I'm just excited. I'm just so excited. Before I tell you guys goodbye, um, another thing I want you to make sure. So, just make sure if you are going to get into a salon suite, despite the reasons why I left mine, uh, make sure that it's going to be a salon suite that you can abide by their rules because you are not in control of that building. You still have to listen to their particular, whatever their rules are. You still have to abide by that or listen to that. Um, so that's that. Um, and like one of the other issues was that like there was like a time frame of when you're technically allowed to be there. And if you're a person like for me, once I'm in a hairstyle, I'm gonna finish that hairstyle. Like I don't care if I'm if I leave there at three o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I'ma finish. And that was like an issue with them. So, you know, you wanna get into a space where you can abide by their times what and whatever limits that they have 
for their business and their building. Hopefully I can cut this video down some because I know it's long. Uh, but you guys do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And bye. See you next time.